I know we asked a bunch of standard questions on the last uh, uh, podcast. I'm going to change it up a little you got bit. Some updated ones. You got we got. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm just going to off the cuff, right? Oh, just you didn't okay. run these by us at the time. No, they're not on the notes list. <laughs> no, they're not on the notes. They're just going to go with it. What's the most pissed off you've ever seen Chip Foose? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're going to laugh. We were at SEMA one time, and uh, we're, it was the night before the show, so it must have been uh, it must have been uh, Monday night. And we're walking around, and, you know, everything's set. Like, all the all the Teamsters have left, and, you know, there's still some stragglers setting up, too, but for the most part, things are, are set up. And uh, Chip had all, we were looking at all the different cars that Chip had in the various booths. And um, the the um, cleanup crew was in there like vacuuming the carpets, like doing one last vacuum. But it's not the car people uh, setup crew. It's like literally the convention center staff coming in. And this woman was vacuuming and she was hitting the, the wheels with her vacuum. And uh, Chip went, and I don't think it was Chip's car. I think it might have been a different car in the display that his car was in. But he went and pulled the cord out of the wall. And, um, you know, that he didn't say anything to the person uh, that was hitting the wheels of the vacuum, but he just kind of pulled the cord out of the wall and then he, like, you know, gave him a look. And I was like, whoa, that's the most pissed off I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably didn't get to see him at the uh, Detroit Autorama <laughs> when a oh. former Roadster Shop employee was helping detail his car. You're going to tell that story? We might as well because that could be the most pissed off that Chip Foose has ever I, had. I was not it there, but I heard the story. It took a while for me to like get the courage to introduce myself to Chip Foose. Outside chance that he's not on the podcast yet. No, not outside. That's it probably the be. exact so, chance. Uh, we, exactly. we, we go to the, to the Autorama one year, and uh, this is you know kind of 10, its heyday. Yeah, it's like in its heyday, right? Yeah. And uh, we had. Uh, an employee that worked at the roadster shop who was, uh, you know, kind of doing some detail type former stuff. Former employee. Former. So he offers up his services after hours to help Chip. He had, Chip had like a team of guys wiping down the underside of this car. Well, I guess he went to implement one of his techniques for cleaning tires, which involves taking lacquer thinner on a rag and wiping down tires. Well, it works good if you don't like airbrush the tires specifically for the show because lacquer thinner oh, takes paint off right i think chip had a, a little bit of a shit fit yeah. over that one and then shortly after that <laughs> where this is uh chip was not happy no he was not happy but clay cut this is probably this is probably one of his cars that won the riddler yeah i think it's still won. Show. yeah it wasn't it ended up, it was, it ended up winning it wasn't it, sabotaged yeah. we didn't if he was there anything. he won yeah <laughs> but that was, was a yeah. imposter wasn't it it was, it was imposter yeah. Yeah. it was imposter okay yeah. wow yeah. yeah that was the same year that the carbon woody was there that Clay Cook had just got done telling me about all the machine work in oh, the front grill. Yeah. My shoulder's still not right. Same guy. He's Denny, walking, right? Where's yeah, Denny? he's walking around, walking around and decides he's going to step into the booth, you know, because cause we're in there talking to, to Clay and the, and the guys. Trips over the booth, and it's like oh, hands wow. nothing went out. He just went straight for the grill. He was headed for the grill. You know, this is like 200-and-something-pound guy. And Phil uh, looked like... Uh, Wait. Cat like dad reflex. Oh yeah, Phil comes flying <laughs> like, like shoulder blocks and like out of the way of the grill. So it, that saved us probably a hundred thousand. Nicely from- done. Yeah, I was gonna say if that same guy somehow messed up that carpet carpet grill, he would not have made it out of Detroit alive. He, he single handedly almost destroyed five million dollars worth of cars at <laughs> the show. Damn. This is the Damn. Damn. My my this default the my stuff. default setting for a show car is do not touch it. And do not offer to do anything. Yeah. To it, yes. You know, I mean, they got, they got. There. Even if they ask, you'd be like, "No, nah, yeah. I'm good." Yeah. I'll like. All right. What's the most pissed off you've ever seen, Courtney? Courtney, Courtney's not really a pissed off person. I mean, she's so happy all the time. See, all y'all can't ever... be fucking happy, good looking, and and talented. <laughs> it's Hollywood. Dude. It's so. It's, it's so. Hollywood, dude. That's bullshit. That's the way it goes. Then you know they forgot to put the the mad uh, program in our in our robot brains. Um, I I don't think I've ever seen Courtney mad. I really I really don't. And she's just bubble city. Yeah, I got I got I got to disappoint you on that one. Oh, well. what's the man that you ever seen, Bud? You know, oh, yeah. Now I mean, Bud is pissed off. That's, that's, <laughs> he's the opposite. He's the opposite. 
Bud is armed at all times, by the way. He's always has a knife. So, you know, it, um, Bud's probably got one of those like uh, Jack Hawk truck stop knives, like the, like <laughs> the big long oh, fixed sure. blade no, it's, that's no, like it's, tribal. It's, it's, there's like six of them in. Yeah. It was given to him either by special forces or, or some a seal friend seal of his. Or yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Um, we were at uh, WyoTech in Wyoming one time. And there's a bar right by the uh, the school. We were we were doing an episode of the school. We were building the Speedbird, which is was this beautiful modified uh, '57 Bel Air um, that we did from a, a, a hardtop car into a, a convertible. But we went to this bar called the Buckhorn, and a fight broke out. And Bud just cannot stay out of the middle of the mix. I watched him as soon as I saw the fight break up. There was two doors in the bar. He went out the one door because it was it was a crowded bar, and we were on one side, and the fight was on the other side. Bud goes outside one door, cuts down the sidewalk, and comes in the other door so he can be right in the middle of the fight. <laughs> it was Man, hilarious. If a bar fight breaks out in Laramie, Wyoming, in a bar, I don't I don't know that I want to yeah. be a part of it. And if you're Bud, you're getting into it. He's, he's got you got the, the skills right to pull it there. off. Right in there. <laughs> Man, I didn't know That's... that Bud was a trained martial artist. Better stop talking all that shit. (laughs) (laughs) 